Have you ever heard of root rot? Lee here, and this is the Swiss cheese plant, aka Monstera Deliciosa, aka Mr. Splitleaf, aka the plant that you bought during quarantine and now you're ready to make more of this. After we take our cuttings, I'm going to show you a few ways that you can avoid your plant rotting while you're propagating in water. Similar to the golden pothos, monsteras grow aerial roots to help them attach and climb up trees in the wild. The aerial roots grow from the main stem of the plant in between the leaves. When making a cutting, make sure you cut below the aerial root. You want at least one leaf, part of the stem, and the aerial root attached. Try to leave some extra space below the aerial root. The first line of defense for preventing root rot is going to be your water. Using distilled water is best and changing that water as frequently as possible is going to be the best way that you can prevent root rot. The next step is to let your cut callus. When the end of the stem dries out, it helps prevent water from getting into the stem which could cause root rot. If you take your cuttings at night and let them dry while you're sleeping, you'll be in a better position to avoid root rot and you can stick them in the water to propagate as soon as you get up in the morning. The next step is to use an antifungal. Using something to treat the end of the stem that will help prevent bacteria and fungus from getting into your plant. I'm going to use rooting hormone, but other popular choices are cinnamon or unpasteurized honey. People also refer to it as raw honey. After all that protection, if you truly want to go overboard, you can use candle wax to seal off the end. Take an extra large, unscented tea light and leave it on long enough to see the wax start to pool. Blow it out and dip the stem in the wax enough times to coat the stem. In my experience, if you're rooting in water, the wax will eventually fall off, so you'll probably have to do this every few weeks. And just as always, when we're propagating in water, we're going to keep our plants in bright, indirect sunlight with around 60% humidity. Those are the four simple steps you can take to prevent root rot when propagating in water. These steps will also work with variegated monsteras. They are more sensitive, so remember to take extra care. Good luck trying not to kill this plant.